they're coming towards you slow and steady okay this is a very slow and steady lover okay but someone who's very determined someone who's very um sure about what they want it's a very slow moving energy so yeah you probably may not see this person coming okay or probably this person is a little boring otherwise okay that's someone who's very focused in their career goals money etc okay they have like this certain routine and maybe you're never really on their priority list and which makes you feel very left out in the goal, which makes you feel very isolated, which makes you feel like you're the only one in the relationship. But there is a lot of love here, okay? It's just that this is how this person functions. They're very focused on themselves. Their money, their business, their routine means a lot to them, okay? So probably this person wouldn't be finding a lot of time to come towards you, talk to you, have a conversation with you. Maybe this person is just very, very involved in themselves. Doesn't look like someone who's very selfish or greedy, but someone who's just, you know, they just like to be in their day-to-day -day routine. But they're coming towards you. But with the Queen of Wands in reverse here, you're lacking that motivation towards this person. All right, I'll tell you what's going on. You're someone who wants things now, okay? You're passionate, you're enthusiastic, you got that energy going. You're like that go-getter energy, okay? And you're like always leading, always wanting to lead this relationship. You're dealing with someone who's very, very slow moving, someone who's like literally on a tortoise. You see that horse that's not even moving. And that's what's happening here. There is a very strong bond here, but probably this is what's frustrating you. It's like you're probably being very pushy, very demanding, like, come on, make a move towards me, okay? Or let's just get things moving a little faster. Because you're like the action queen, okay? And this person's just like, yeah, well, I do love you. I do want you. But the pace, you know, the pace is very different out here, okay? You're like that fast moving energy, and they're like, super super slow but very steady very steady very steady okay that's what's happening here and you're losing the motivation you're losing the spark day by day tell me why six of swords but yeah there's someone who is wanting to move forward or probably you're wanting to move forward okay six of swords is someone who's wanting to get out of rocky waters it feels to me like this person is wanting to come towards you there's again like i feel there's a tiff between you guys don't feel like a big fight but it's just that you guys are not on the same page when it comes to maintaining that pace, okay? Like I said before, okay, this is someone very steady, very stubborn lover, like I said, okay? But they're like to, they, they like to take baby steps. And here you are with the Queen of Wands here, okay? And you are someone who likes those big moves, big leaves. Let's make it passionate. Let's make it adventurous. Let's make it fun, okay? And this person's like, well, you know, you go along. I'll, I'll be right there, you know? And you're like, dude, come on now, you know? Let's be on the same page for once, but... That's going to be tough if that's the way you're going to behave, okay? But they're wanting to come towards you, okay? They want to move into karma waters. They want a peaceful resolution for sure, okay? That person's operating a lot from their... This is someone very practical, very grounded. Not like you're not, but you're just more fun-loving is what I'd say, okay? And you just want things your way. And right now, you're just being a little more playing with their emotions probably, okay? <coughs> You've taken a step back. And that's why they're coming in towards you anymore you could have created a very you could have created a mental distance okay a physical or mental distance between you guys is also what i'm hearing like you know what if you're not making that move towards me if you're not going to get that ass moving then i'm done okay i'm no more interested in this this is lack of interest from your side but you can't get away from this person because of the six of cups because that's your soul need Ace of Wands in reverse here, okay? So yeah, there's that lack of enthusiasm from your side. This is not them, this is you. You probably feel this is a very, uh, it's like a false start, okay, for you. It's like every single time you think, you know, you've got that passion, you've got that enthusiasm for this person, you're very interested, but you know, you're not taking action towards them. Because you're just losing that interest, like I said, right? You're losing that mojo whilst this person is still there, moving slowly towards you. Like, you're like, literally like, dude, are we there yet? If you're trying to get away from this relationship or connection, it's not going to happen, okay? We have the Six of Cups here. That is a soulmate connection. You guys are probably going to keep coming back to each other, okay? And you're just going to be like, what the hell, see? Confused, like, what the fuck is going on? I, neither is this person wanting to move at my pace, nor are they moving a little faster. They're just doing their own thing. I don't know where I am in this person's life. What spot do I hold, etc. But... They're coming towards you, okay? They're just going to take their own time. Yeah. So probably very slow moving. Someone who you just have to shake, you know, like, dude, talk to me. Like, dude, what's going on? Something like that. But there's a lot of confusion here. 
a lot of confusion, which is probably making you feel like you don't want to invest into this relationship. You've completely stopped putting in the work, okay? Maybe you feel this person's not putting in the work. Maybe you feel they're not putting in the work and you're the one who needs to put in the work and that's why you're backing out. You have a very passive approach now towards this relationship, okay? And there's a lot of confusion here. <coughs> you're just confused. Does this person love you or not? But they do. Tell me more. They do. See, with a helmet here, this person is doing a lot of contemplation, okay? A lot of thinking. A lot of what, when, where, how, why. A lot of self-introspection. This person needs that alone time. Give it to them. I'd say give it to them. Because if you don't want that false start, okay? Because you start and you stop, okay? You start and you stop. It's like you see, you meet like a dead end every single time. You're so enthusiastic about this new beginning with this person. It's like, oh, now it's going to be a fresh start. You know, now things are going to be my way. That's just not how it's going to work, okay? Because that's someone who's very demanding, very pushy, okay? Someone who's very dominating, a very domineering partner. It's not going to work with them because they're as stubborn as you. Okay, and this person needs their time. They like their alone time. This is someone who enjoys uh, being um, not isolated, but being on their own. It's like they're a <coughs> happy place. So this is someone very wise. Okay, very wise. They could have ghosted you right now, but they're doing a lot of thinking, a lot of contemplation, like I said, okay? A lot of self-introspection, trying to go within themselves and trying to find the answers. Yeah. See? With the strength here, you want this person to make that big, bold, courageous moves, okay? But right now, you're trying your best to hold back. You're trying to resist your feelings from this person. You're withholding from this person, okay? Only because you probably feel that this person is just wanting to have fun without commitment or this is just someone who's not interested, you know, which keeps making you feel with the five of pentacles you're very left out in this relationship. But, well, that's not what it is, okay? It's just the... Uh, confusion because there's a lack of clarity here and <coughs> this person keeps ghosting you okay you're probably dealing with a coaster every time there's like life hits them hard every time there's something that happens within the relationship and they tend to go into their shell okay and you're like dude you disappear again and that's why now this time you're putting in your 100% to hold back from this person okay you're trying to tame the, your tame your uh, emotions your passion for this person okay see that's what you're holding back tell me more please yeah see queen of cups in reverse I don't see this as two people here, Cancer. I don't think this is two people here. Okay. Could be two people, but I'm not getting that. I've got to say the story that I get. I feel this is the relationship where you feel you're the only one who's carrying the entire stress, the entire burden of the relationship. You could have had unconditional love towards this person, okay? And you were the one who was very forthcoming in this relationship, always wanted to take action, always leading the relationship, okay? You were always the one who was leading the relationship, always the one who would make plans, etc., okay? And now you've completely shut off from this person, with the passion, no action, no um, emotion. You know, you've become very cold and detached towards them. Okay. Whilst they're wanting to move towards you. They realize this uh, connection. They want a reconciliation. But it's just that there's a lot of confusion here. Okay. Because with the helmet here, this person keeps doing a lot of thinking. Okay. Which is probably why you're feeling so iced out, like I said, right? Why you're feeling so... I mean, they keep ghosting you in short. Okay. Someone who's just wanting to be on their own. They need that alone time. And you probably have this misunderstanding, probably, that this person is not interested, whereas they are. But it's just that I feel you're expecting too much from this person. And that's just not this not this kind of a person that you're dealing with. This is someone very practical, very grounded, okay? You're full of passion and emotions. But now, because this person's probably taking baby steps towards you, you feel left out. But they're coming towards you <coughs> with the Six of Swords here. They are maybe it could even be you who's created that distance between you both okay and you're just wanting to move forward you know like it's okay i got the clarity that i need and i'm just gonna let it go because i'm done with the false starts here 
because there is emotion there's a lot of passion here like i said right that enthusiasm but you refuse to take action something's like a big fat it's like get set and then it's like no you know something like that it's like it starts so quickly but then it ends so quickly okay it just fizzles out and only because of this person's knight of pentacles and the home idea those are too slow as moving energies okay very boring very boring and very slow and you're like all about fun emotions love you know that that passion fun loving thing okay now you're holding back from this person that's what i'm getting whoever it resonates with give me the outcome what is the outcome for cancer this week what is the outcome for cancer and love this week what is the outcome for cancer this week whoa knight of wands in reverse here there is someone who's very passionate about you i feel you with the knight of wands in reverse here i feel you have a lot of passion for this person okay it's like you are like I said, you you really, um, this person really turns you on. You have that spark, okay, when it comes to this person. But you're purposely, intentionally holding back. And that's why there's this lack of forward moment here. Okay, because with the seven of pentacles here, I think you're waiting and watching if you want to continue investing into this relationship that has come in so long term. Okay, it's like a long term connection that this is. Okay, but now you're waiting and watching because this person probably seems too focused on themselves. Not in a bad way, but it's just that they're very routine based is what I'd say. Give me one more card for the outcome. 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 See, things are going to be on hold. I, I'm getting like a budge fest. Not like a budge fest. I'm getting things on hold because I think you're going to take your time and this person's ghosted you. So they're going to take their time. Okay. They're trying to see things from a different point of view whilst you're holding your horses. You're holding your horses. <clears throat> you're probably being a little reckless here. Okay. Let me call you out, Cancer. If this is not you, this is them. But there's someone who is being very reckless right now. Okay. Making very impulsive decisions like, I want it now. Like right fucking now, you know. And this person's like, wait, hold up. I need some time. You know, someone's keeping things on hold. There's going to be a little bit of stagnation in your relationship right now because someone's trying to see things from another person. Look, okay? another point of view, another person's point of view. Okay. But that's a good energy because that's a very spiritual, very meditative energy where there is no action right now, lack of movement, but a lot of thinking is going into this. Okay. This person is thinking about you a lot once you hold back. Okay. Once you hold back. The other way, it could also be that probably this person's holding back, okay? Because they have a lot of passion for you, but they need to do a lot of thinking before they come rushing in towards you. But I'm not getting so much as them. I'm getting this as you. I'm getting this as you. Because they seem to be someone who's very practical and grounded, okay? It's just that their way of thinking is different. They're not impulsive and reckless like you. So yeah, I do feel that, so that this is you holding back. That's why something's not moving forward. And you've completely, you know, like, um, you know, you're directionless right now. And with the hangman here, that's why things are going to be on hold for a bit, okay? Whilst this person does the thinking and they come, out, come back to you and talk to you. But right now, I don't see any communication coming in, okay? There is... A possibility of this person wanting to move towards you with clarity but it's going to take some time it is okay because you're both you're you're holding back with the strength and reverse and this person needs some time before they come towards you with that clarity and before they take action towards you okay that's what i have for you cancer i hope this reading resonates with you leave your comments below do like share subscribe and i will see you next time Bye bye